How's everyone doing? I'm your Gibbs. We have a game here. This one is called Abandoned uh, Chestnut Lodge Asylum. And uh, this was requested of me a while ago, and it's been on my desktop, and I've just decided, you know what? Time for another creepy game. So, I don't know how creepy this is. I've never played it before, but I'm really excited to get into it. What I like about it is it's a standard edition game, so it's your $7, $10 game on uh, Big Fish Games. And it has a lot of extra content, like wallpapers, and achievements, and even a strategy guide, which I thought was kind of cool. Uh, let me just actually tweak the music just a little. Yeah, so that's kind of neat. It's like a... Well, I don't know how long the game is, but it has some uh, little extras there, even though it's a standard edition, which I thought was quite lovely. So let's get into it, let's hit the play button, let's find out what we have. So we have two different difficulty modes, casual and expert. Let's see what we got. A nightmare. <laughs> this is the place where I die every night. The other way to go is to go there. This is the place for my nightmares. Okay, so I haven't played anything by this developer, so I'm going to go ahead and hit the yes on the interactive help. Looks like we can zoom in here. It is looking breakable. Sparkly areas. I like the, the water effect. It's really nice. And the rain, too. Oh, uh, we got some old school... Hidden object scenes here. I missed what it just said there. It happened so fast. So let's go ahead and get cracking on the clicky clicky part of this. Ooh, look, cupcake. So we have a book, a brick, and a sledgehammer. So I think that sledgehammer is going to come with us on our adventures. Thimble and glasses. Oh, what do we have here? Something's going on there. A burger. There. The burger needs its bun. Look at that old school film canister there. Yeah, the music's definitely got a nice edge to it. Of course, it's really early in the game. We'll have to sort of wait and see how I feel about it. And of course, I'd love to hear how you f feel about this game as well. It is one of the older ones. I don't remember what year this came out. But sometimes, uh, well, frankly, I like to play older games just to mix it up with the newer games. I think it provides a greater appreciation for how far they've come with these types of uh, hidden object puzzle adventures. So, here's a strange question for you. I'm looking for a brick. <laughs> Isn't there a wall of bricks right here? Why not this Pop-Tart here, Waffle? Huh? Why not? Oh, looks like we got some Cravens out there. Look out for the Cravens. So we have a thimble, and a brick, and a sledgehammer. Oh, there's the thimble. Somehow, we need to get a propeller piece, too. Wow, look at that. I think the other part of it is the resolution that these older games were made was for, like, much... 
well, I mean, for older technology of monitors, so there's a bit of a washing out of it when it gets blown up to 1080p. There's no doubt about that. I am really struggling with this one here. Like, is this considered a brick? That is a brick. And there's our propeller. Alright, the one thing we need... I know we need this little chamber. We're going to have to bash that wall. Where the... Oh, there it is. Found you. That's what I figured. Time for us to bash things. Gonna be destructive here. Ooh, I see. This is how we sneak through, is it? The gate is locked. Hello there, boy. He's looking. Please, I'm begging you. Don't tell anyone you've seen me. I didn't want to do it. I just had no choice. It's not my fault. <laughs> you ran away. This information is stored in your diary. Ah, here we go. Chestnut Lodge Asylum. Yeah. It is a terrible place to go, but this is the only way to know why I had all those dreams and how I can return to my normal life. To a life without nightmares, premonitions, and fears. I met a young boy at the entrance. The boy was very scared and obviously not happy to see me. Do not tell anyone you saw me, he insisted. I did something, something that wasn't my fault. And then he ran away. I hope I see him again. I'm pretty sure he knows something. Oh wow, just noticed there at the last split second. Creepy spider is creepy. Oh, actually I didn't know we had to do this too. I had the same dream every night. In it, I'm running scared through the corridor of an abandoned building. Something or someone is following me. I race into the elevator, but suddenly I understand that there is no floor beneath my feet. I'm falling down, I'm going to die, and then I wake up. One night, when I was too afraid to fall back asleep, I switched on the TV. There was a dead boy in the news program. The boy had fallen down the elevator shaft, just like I did in my dream. Sometimes it happens, though. I thought, but when they showed the building, a chill ran over me. It was the building from my night years. Yeah, no, that's definitely would be chilling. But check out that water and the reflection. It's really nice. Really nicely done. I think I should memorize that. 6281. This mechanism is obviously missing some parts. The poor fish must have spent years in the drain. You hear those cravens? I know they're either crows or ravens, but until I know what they are, they're cravens to me. Oh, look at that. They're just sort of enjoying now. Some drinks here. Chestnut Lodge Asylum Mystery. Nowadays, the Chestnut Lodge Asylum is abandoned and forgotten. Hmm. I don't need a key, I guess, but what else would open it? I have nothing on my inventory bar. Wow, we got a bunch here. So memory is a number, the mechanism obviously missing a part. The right half of the text is torn away, but the other half is still can still be read. It there is a mystery to be solved. Yay for mysteries. Wow, look at this broken down car. Oh we're gonna need a battery for that flashlight. The trunk is so rusty, I should look for something heavier than a simple key. How about a sledgehammer I just had? How about that game? The building does not look friendly. Oh, hello, creepy door. Poor patients. They could not go out and visitors could not come in. Oh, somebody dropped the key. Where'd that key go? Did you not see the key fall down the steps? Okay, maybe it's sitting in here somewhere. Uh, let's see, Jack o' Lantern. Wow, those uh, cravens are quite noisy. Mmm, broccoli. Nesting doll. 
There we go. Ooh, a taco. I'm not a big fan of the hard tacos, but I do like the soft tacos. I'm not sure what your thoughts are for those of you that eat Mexican food. Oh, wow. I really like that donut, too. This is kind of my kind of donut with the nice sparkles and the vanilla topping. Mm. That does look delicious. And we'll have a little margarita here to go with it, or a martini. Because it's more of a martini, isn't it? So we need a nutcracker game. There's the key. Aha! That is the asylum key. Good to know. Good to know. We'll have to see what happens when I get punished for clicking too much. Chef hat, football helmet, and a nutcracker. A T square. That that drafting T square, isn't it? That looks like a drafting brush too. You use those kind of brushes to wipe away all the eraser fragments. Yeah, that's definitely a drafting T square. So I need a chef's hat. And a nutcracker. Hmm. So where would that chef's hat be? I want that to be the nutcracker, but clearly that's not. Oh wow, looks like we have got some bologna there, some sausage. So this would be a good time for the chef hat to appear. Thank you very much. And now we have a nutcracker. Where is the nutcracker? Wow. It's like not that kind of cracker that I was thinking of. I was thinking of the little soldier dude. You stick the nut in its mouth. Oh well. The games are tricky when they play with English terms like that. Oh, dude. What's, what's going on, buddy? I can swear that he was there. What the hell is happening here? Please, friend, g give me some water. My throat is so dry. <laughs> you want some water? I have nothing. When I entered the main building, I saw a cop sitting scared in the hall. The expression on his face was completely shocked. What happened to you? I asked. He opened his mouth to speak, but just as a few words came out, his throat was too dry to speak. The phone is definitely out of order. Need to look for another way into the reception area. Now, I don't know if there are any morphing objects in this game. So we're going to have to get some sort of cup and money. Oh, I have this code, don't I? I think I do. Wait. 6281. There we go. Look, dude, you can just sort of lick the water that's laying on the ground here. That's not filthy at all. Oh my goodness, what the heck is that? Got myself a paper clip, which I didn't even think I was reaching for. Whoa. Arrange the chip parts by swapping until all are aligned correctly. Hmm. So... Oops. There we go. That doesn't feel very secure to me. Oh, another hidden object scene. Holy cow. Look at the gorilla. Looks like we need a horn for that skull. Hammer time. Hot water bottle. Thermometer, basketball. Ah. Uh, 
IV container. So we need a baseball bat and a chalice. So where's the baseball bat? And we need a teapot too. Oh, there's the horn. Oh, there's the teapot. The mixer. We need the mixer blade. Just gotta find it. And a container. What kind of container would we want, game? Guess we don't want the razor. Oh, okay, so I'm missing one of the blades. And then we're good to go on our mixer. Oh, there's the blade. So now we have a baseball bat and a container. Ah, that kind of container. Seriously? That's your hint? I was too quick with my hint. <laughs> oh, whoops. I can't believe it did that. It hinted what I'd already found. Oh, that's not good. That lipstick looks awful large as a proportionate to the water bottle and whatever that is. I have no idea what that thing is. It looks like a... I don't know what it looks like. Wow, look at that baseball bat. That's insane. But I'll take it. Oh, I thought it was going to be dark down here. Caution, no diving. I would say no swimming as well. Oh, I got to put all the screws in their place. But I don't have a, any sort of wrench to take care of that. I need to, oh you know what I do have something to pick inventory paper clip click and hold the lock bars with the paper clip until the correct position I don't know what the correct position is I'm confused oh that's four is it Oh, wow. So I gotta do this all... Holy cow, okay. Good grief. <laughs> so, I should probably write this down. <laughs> Come on, game. I need a piece of paper here. So, I don't know if that's... Four... Two... Wow, I gotta go five times with this thing? Oh, jeez. Let's go one. Nope. Kinda neat. Okay, so four, two, three. Oh, jeez, wow. Very sensitive to my clicky. Music is just good now. Oh wow, look at that! So now it could be anything. Oh wow. I tried. Let's try. Yay! Do I get to keep my paper clip? I do not. Ooh, what's going here? I love the art style of this. It's very cool with all the rust. I like it. It's too dark in here. And I like the mood music too. Whoa, what the heck is going on in here? What was going on in here? I need something to work as a handle. Hidden object scene. We don't have time to get to that yet. I think we'll go back here and maybe see what's upstairs. This is a good place for us to pause for now, but we'll be back for more Abandon 
Chestnut Lodge Asylum. I'm your Gives. Thank you all for watching. Let me know what you think of the game so far. Always love to see your comments. And I'll talk to you next time.